Welcome back to Plumbing in Jamaica The channel where you get nothing less than the best All right. If you want to learn how to do plumbing If you want to see how plumbing job is done You want to become better at your profession Please subscribe to our channel Or if it's just that you like to do things yourself DIY if you're a DIY type of person Or you want to just watch you enjoy watching construction this is the channel for you we don't just only video stuff and show you like most other persons we actually explain all right so today we are doing an installation or actually we did because we did it just a while ago it took quite a while if i was to video it it would have taken <laughs> such a long time so what i'm going to do i'm going to explain the process to you step by step today we installed a 1000 gallon water tank and this is a new brand as you can see this one is thicker than the others that's what i got to realize all right it's a 1000 gallon water tank and we connected it to a one horsepower water pump if you look at this plate here you will see all the details you see it's a 110 voltage and um hp that's the horsepower one horsepower all right and it's the Pedrola brand all right this one has a pressure a ear a ear tank as you can see and this is the this has a smart switch in it and this is the pressure gauge right here so let me tell you how we did it the first thing i did when i was installing this tank i did the inlet portion first because every water tank has two portions to it a outlet portion where the water comes and an inlet portion where the water goes into the tank all right and as i can see i'm projecting the camera upward which means that this tank is taller than i am all right so you have to do that part while it's on the ground laying down flat preferably if you want to make life easier on yourself so i'm gonna show you what we did on the top so on the inside of the tank up here we have what is called a high up valve or a ball valve what it does is when the water fills the tank and it lifts up it shuts off by itself this is a female adapter i screw the female adapter to the high up valve put in a piece of half inch pipe a socket union right here so in case you're changing the high up valve in the future you don't have to cut it does pull the screw this off and then pull off all right I'm going to show you the high up valve so let me climb up and show you alright so I'm now on top of the tank because I put this tank right next to the wall so I could easily climb alright so you can see all the pipe work on the ground very unique right it looks almost like a maze a puzzle difficult to figure out only by the professionals alright so remember I mentioned to you the high up valve the thing that is inside of the tank i'm going to show you it and show you how it works a lot of plumber not going to show you this so that is the high up valve that big ball right here and it goes through the tank and it's connected right here if i lift this up right now it stops because once the water fills the tank and it lifts this up in the air it's supposed to shut off once the tank is lower than this height in terms of water capacity water is supposed to come out so once this is lifted up it's supposed to shut off automatically so you don't need to go outside to turn on and off any pipe so let me close back the tank always keep your tanks closed guys and sometimes when the tanks are closed with ear lock you know i'm going to show you the solution for that if you look right here you see an unusual thing right very unusual so i run a pipe from down the ground come right up and it's separate from this pipe it comes right up and, it, and it's like this it's called an airflow pipe all right a lot of nowadays plumbers don't know about this but old school plumbers know about it what it does is it it allows gravity i mean it allows oxygen to be in the line at all times or air rather all right so i don't know if when you were a child growing up you ever pull up some water in a straw and hold the top of it and the water is not running out as soon as you let go that, that, that part that you hold the water flows out it's the same effect with this it allows the tank to flow smoothly even without a water pump with this your tank flows very 
smoothly just with gravity alone all right and i'm going to show you where it's connected to you see the part that comes out of the tank that's where it is connected to on that t right there i'm going to show you it in a more syndicate intricate details i'm gonna go back down off this wall all right so i'm now right at the base of the tank this is the pipe i was telling you about you must be wondering how come the water not flying through up the top and it's not capped off let me tell you why all right so the water that's inside the tank it cannot go higher than the height of the tank which is the reason why i let my vent pipe goes higher than the tank so in reality the water should be about here in this pipeline it can't pass there all right so let me tell you about the outlet part of the tank now so this thing on the tank a lot of plumbers i never hear a plumber do a video and tell you what it name i'm going to tell you guys today this thing right here is called a bulkhead this black thing right here is a bulkhead they are sold separately so if yours is giving trouble you don't have to to buy a new tank don't let them fool you this is sold separately the bulkhead this one is an inch and a half bulkhead for the 1000 gallon tank the rhino brand or the rock solid brand so you just get an inch and a half bulkhead you're gonna screw an inch and a half male adapter into the bulkhead then you can continue it with inch and a half for as long as you want but inch and a half pipe more expensive than the smaller ones all right so i reduce it to, to three quarter not half inch because I don't want it to reduce it too much, alright? So I reduce it to 3 quarter. So I use what is called a 3 quarter or an inch and a half to 3 quarter reducer and I reduce it to 3 quarter. This is a socket union. So in the event you want to wash out the tank, you don't have to cut off anything as I mentioned before. You just use a socket union. You pull this with your hand, alright? So this is the T that the vent pipe is up on. How come the water not running from the main through the vent pipe, Mr. Plumber? Not only from the tank, but from the main pipe. How come, Mr. Plumber? Alright, if you notice right here, I have a, a, a non return valve or a check valve, and it marks flow. And you see the arrow pointing that way, which means the water can only go that way. Most of these things have a, have a cone shape. So the part with the cone shape, even if you don't see the arrow, you know where the water is flowing. So this allows the water to come from the tank only go in one direction. It can't go this way and fall through the bottom. Because that's the next thing a lot of plumbers don't know. If you don't have a non return at the bottom of the water tank, some of them talk say it can't fall from the top, so they have to fully from the bottom. That's nonsense. That's not supposed to be. Alright? So if you don't have a non return valve at the bottom of the tank, even with the higher valve in the tank, when that full and lock off, the water can still flow through the, through the bottom of the tank and cause it to overflow. If you don't have a non return valve, pointing that way allowing the water to only come out of the tank and not to enter the tank this pipe right here the homeowner for this property wanted a pipe in case um, water gone and the electricity is out as well and they can't use the pump they want to be able to can fool this and if you notice most plumbers as well what them do them put the pipe cock in a female adapter i don't do that i put it in a metal lock off so in the event this goes bad you can always use a metal lock off instead of to change pipe back every time so that's coming directly from the tank you know male adapter is screwed in it all right so that's the outlet portion of the tank right there comes from there comes around goes there and i have a lock off in case you're doing something with the pump underneath here you can always lock off the pipe all right so it's not supposed to be locked up you can keep it on at all times all right so when you look at this now i just explain to you the inlet portion of the tank and the outlet portion of the tank all right so the tank the water comes out of the tank and goes down through this decking because this is on a raised platform that was constructed all right so two pipe goes down through this decking one on the left one on the right just take a look at that beautiful right very neat all right so the water comes out of the tank goes down on the right the one that comes down on the right so this is where the right pipe comes down right here so it comes there i have a socket union here as well so in the event you want to move the water pump to work on it 
you don't cut you just screw with your hand all right so it comes down through the decking right there this don't worry about that all right that's that's um i didn't have any coupling and the woman i refused to buy the coupling or should i say they wanted it to be done this way rather all right so it comes down here and then goes into the pump right here from the back that's a one inch outlet so i reduce it from one inch with the male adapter one inch male adapter half inch to one inch reducer to three quarter inch reducer reduce it to three quarter then i connected it like that this part here on the top is where the water comes from the pump so the water comes from the pump here it goes in through there and comes out here i have a socket in there as well and it goes up all right so we know right here so the water comes from the tank on the left the water goes into the tank on the right based on my setup right here so when the water comes from the pump and goes up through that pipe this is where it comes it comes up right here if you notice i have a non-return valve right here as well so i have two non-return valves one from the tank that causes the water to come out of the tank one from the pump that causes the water to come out of the, 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 the pump and flow in one direction you see if you don't have this non-return valve right here the water can flow in the opposite direction which is not good all right so what this does it causes the water to only come from out of the pump all right it can't go the other way so look at that very unique setup and i have a separate line so i have three pipelines i have one that brings the water from the pump i have one that brings the water from the tank and i have one that fills the tank all right so i'm just going to make you look at it again and a next thing you need a next non-return but it not, it's not right here the next non-return is on your main line where your water meter is causing the water to only come into the property and not to go out because if you don't have it there the water is going to run when you turn on the pump you're pumping it to the whole community if you don't have a non-return at the main and you can add a water filter there as well let's look at that guys unique i'm going to show you where both connections are the one that fills the tank and the one that comes from the pump i'm going to show you. all right so the water tank is behind that wall both pipeline comes here so this one this is the main line let me explain that to you this is the main line so this is the the, the connection where the water from the, the that pulls the tank is connected to all right so if you want to stop from pulling the tank you just turn this off like that pull in the tank you turn it on but you don't need to turn off and on on and off everything should work automatically based on my setup this pipe here is where the water that's coming from the pump enters the property and i have noticed this is off still off because i just did the connection it's not fully dried so now i give my, my tangent to one hour to dry with a wet and dry i give both i give all tangents one hour to dry so that's where the, the connections are to the property so once again if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please remember to do so subscribe like and share yeah man you want to learn about plumbing in jamaica or real jamaican man the plumbing or real jamaican plumber the plumbing yeah man subscribe to this channel beautiful setup thanks again for supporting my channel looking forward to seeing you guys watching my next video remember to click the like button you know don't just watch click the like button share and subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss a video